Tutorial 40 multi section solid. In the last tutorial, we created these three reference planes as we see them here. And now we are going to use them to create multi sketches and combine them with the multi solid or multi section solid. And it's called the lofted boss in other CAD softwares as we see the icon here. So now let's create a sketch on this reference plane. So let's create a center point rectangle. Exit. And let's create another rectangle on this surface. Exit. So now we can combine them with the multi-section solid feature. So we have sketch 7 is already chosen. So you can notice here is choosing the closing point and the section. For the second sketch we can choose this point. So as you notice it chooses closing point to be in this corner. And now we can, if you click here, you choose closing point number two, preview. So we can just remove the selections and simply choose for this. We can choose sketch. Cancel again multi section sketch one sketch two preview and now uh, we created a multi section loft if you change the direction here so on rebuild so that will change it didn't work so we are able to change the direction of the loft Control C and now also we can make a multi section from an existing part. So now let's activate the multi section tool. Let's use this first sketch and second sketch to be this surface preview. So as you notice, we created the loft between these two edges and you can change the direction here preview you can notice the change in the shape also you can make a guiding line for 